Hey guys, so I'm back with the Noah Kulitz Fluorite. I'm really hoping I'm saying it close enough. Um, she's the room wear version. Um, and since I have calmed myself down a little bit, I thought I would go ahead and share with you my what my first impression is of this doll. And also I have a couple of new updates. So I thought I would go ahead and share that with you guys. But first, I want to ask if any of you collect these dolls in US and knows how to pre-order them or if there is a site out there that I could go ahead and keep up with these doll lines and pre-order them or even using like a proxy site to pre-order them. If you know any of these, if you can let me know down below, um, that will be awesome because I could see myself collecting these dolls. Um, I mean, I don't want it to become too crazy, but I would like to keep up with their lines and, you know, if something comes up that I really like, I really want to have a way to pre-order them or just order them. So if you can let me know, that will be really appreciated. Um, so my first impression of this doll is just amazing. <laughs> I'm really happy with her. I love her face sculpt, first of all, and I love how she is painted. Um, I don't know if you can really tell, but she has open mouth and she does have a little teeth in there. Well, painted, but I don't know if you can really see. And then I love how her eyes are painted. Um, they're definitely light gray, I think. So that's what she looks like. I love her face sculpt. And um, I'm just in love with her i don't know she is just very realistic to me which is just a good sign now for her stock item though i'm not too fan of i mean even before i bought her um i knew i wasn't going to be keeping her in this stock outfit anyways i might use just you know once or twice just to take photos or something or just kind of use it as a separate but this isn't mm, it's not I don't know I don't really see it as her style and you can see like a lot of things are just coming off of this thing um, so yeah the outfit wasn't my favorite thing it just with the price that you know they go for if you see the socks here look at like how it's finished it's kind of not really professional now some of the other dolls are the Unoa Kulitz dolls have amazing amazing outfit um and you know i wasn't really lucky enough to order or pre-order any of them or anything like that but i think i want to keep an eye on it just in case i love the doll and the outfit i think that would be just all around plus <laughs> so but anyway so that's kind of was a little bit of a disappointment for the stock outfit um, but she does come with a couple extra parts and I showed you that was in the bag so I took it out and here are extra pair of hands and this is a piece hand and this one looks like a mini fiend number nine hands actually it's really cute <laughs> and then she comes with extra pair of feet I think these I mean, these are really small feet um, compared to what she has on right now. So I think these were designed maybe to share some of the shoes with like different dolls maybe. Um, I think with this feet, she can even uh, wear like some of the Blythe shoes. So um, I think that's why they include that, I think. I'm not sure. But all in all, I really like her. She does have... Um, pretty much all the joints that you can think of. She has the um, bust joint, I guess. Um, I don't know if that's what's actually called, but she has a joint right below her bust. And she has elbow, um, shoulder, elbow, wrist. And also she has the knee and feet, feet joint. So um, they're all fully jointed. Of course, she doesn't have any in internal skeleton or anything like that, like Dolphy Dreams or anything, but she holds her position really well. As you can see here. Like, I, I could put it in whichever I want and she'll hold it, which is amazing. Um, I really do like that. Um, so... 
that's a plus and she has just like a basic knee joint I mean this isn't body review or anything but I'm just showing you um, what that looks like and another really nice thing that I I can think of is that she could share a lot of the stuff with Blythe dolls and Azone dolls and even Lati dolls um, not some of the dresses or anything like that but like some of these separate pieces and um, maybe a few dresses here and there I think she'll be able to wear it which is which is always always good so I don't have to you know get her entire wardrobe or anything I can mix and match and have her wear something like what she's wearing that cut that I just come up with so um, that's really awesome um, so by the way she's wearing the bumblebee love extra small um, a zone body tunic or like a little dress for the a zone girl um, and then she's wearing a underskirt for Blythe doll and she's wearing a knee socks, I guess, for Blythe dolls as well. And she's carrying an A-Zone bag. So <laughs> she just has like everything right now kind of um, on her. Just really, I don't know, um, just put together, I guess. So I don't have to get her like brand new entire new collection of clothing or anything like that. But I do want to get her a couple of shoes though because I don't really want to use the small feet. I think proportion wise I really like the one that she has on. Um, so I want to get her maybe a couple of basic shoes for her. The other thing that I noticed is that um, she is pretty delicate. Now she is made out of plastic so um, she does feel very plasticky I would have to say. And she does feel a little bit hollow so feels pretty delicate now because of the cost or or retail cost I guess of these dolls I was expecting maybe a little bit different um than what, what she has on right now it does feel a little bit different than just regular plastic but she does feel pretty plasticky so that was a little bit um I mean, I don't want to say disappointing because it, it really isn't. But if you're not too fan of that, then I guess it might kind of bother you. But it's okay with me. But I thought um, she might have something a little bit different. But it just feels... I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so that that's kind of like my first impression of this doll. Um, now, I actually am getting another Momoko doll. I ordered her but I think it's a pre-order because she's like an anniversary doll or something like that I'm assuming um I'm not sure once I will research a little bit more and once she comes in I will show you guys and I will probably do a comparison video or something between her and just regular Momoko doll um just to see if there is any differences and 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 maybe the type of the plastic maybe the texture might be a little bit different and I will go over that with you guys if you guys are interested or I don't know I'll probably make that video down the road because she isn't coming until like a month later so I probably have to wait for her a little bit longer but I will do that once she comes in and another huge update is that um, it has to do with my mini fee um, so I actually got well I guess uh, one full mini fee doll and then I got two extra heads with it. So there's three heads and one body. Um, I didn't know this was going to happen but it kind of happened relatively fast and I just decided to purchase her because I, I knew if I don't and let them go I think I would have regretted it even more. So I decided to go ahead and bring them home um, and she or they are halfway here. So I think she will arrive either uh, tomorrow or day after tomorrow. So once they come in, I will share that with you guys as well. So that was kind of my huge update. <laughs> like I don't know, um, I don't know what happened to me. But as soon as I saw them and as soon as I talked to the seller, I knew just I had to bring them. So I will kind of go over them with you guys once they come in, and then probably. Um, <sighs> I, my heads are just going everywhere so that I think that's everything as far as the update the new uh, new Momoko girl and then um, my mini fees and then Lati dolls I haven't heard 
from them so I don't know when they're gonna be coming in but anyway so that's everything I'm so sorry rushing at the end my battery is blinking so I think it's gonna turn off any second now so I'm just gonna go but thank you so much for watching guys and I hope you guys are doing great bye